there are two main types of energies that we are going to consider and that are very important to us, of course. And those are kinetic energy and potential energy. We can break those down, you know, and really get into them now at the senior level. Okay. Kinetic energy, you know, is the energy of movement or the energy of motion. Now, let's bring that right down to the molecular level. How can this molecule express kinetic energy, absorb it or release it? Well, there's three different ways that we can do EK, kinetic energy, energy kinetique. Eh? Okay, the first way that a molecule can actually absorb energy, we'll call it the first way, is by actually moving back and forth along the length of the bond. And a bond, remember, is just a force of attraction between atoms. There's no real stick in between uh, uh, atoms. There's just a bond, force of attraction. Now, that, that bond length can be altered by atoms actually coming closer together, moving farther apart. The bond length is never really rigid, but it actually fluctuates because of the amount of energy that could be entering or leaving this system. And so, we call that because there's vibrating along that bond length, vibrational energy. So that's the first one, the first type of kinetic energy. But then, if you can continue to apply energy to this molecule, not only will it vibrate, but it can actually move along it, around its bond length, like this. And so, not just vibrating, but also rotating. And so the second type of energy is called rotational energy. So there's vibrational and rotational, but then you can take molecules and you can move them all around, move them all around the place. And when you do that, that's going to be translational. Trans, of course, means across, so you're moving it across somewhere. So there's vibrational, rotational, translational. Now, what would really exhibit a high degree of, or a higher degree of uh, vibrational energy than any of the others, well that would be like a solid. Anything that's solid would have some vibrational energy between the molecules. This table, this body, solid, but the molecules in me are constantly having their atoms moving back and forth. They're vibrating. The only time you wouldn't have that is at absolute zero. Zero K, negative 273.15 degrees Celsius. Now, so here we've got a molecule that vibrates. That's like solid. Now, what about liquids? Well, liquids, they do vibrate, but they also have the ability to move about in solution like this, so they rotate. And then, of course, a gas. Think of how chaotic a gas is. It'll vibrate, and molecules will. It'll rotate, and they can move from place to place and do, you know, the eek dance. Ouch.